If you've ever played on servers such as DDCS, Enigmas, or Georgia at War, you've likely encountered an AOX. Be it the base game one, Overlord bot, or you may have encountered a player on the other side of that radio. Being a player GCI can be a lot of fun, which may come as a surprise to some. Behind it lies a very helpful and passionate community revolving around being the AWAX or ATC on any server that you may come across with SRS. Despite this, there are very few detailed tutorials on how to actually do any of these things, let alone where to begin if you're new like I once was. This video will be intended to serve as a beginner's guide to GCI, mainly on Hoggett's Georgia at War or Persian Gulf at War servers, that will show you the basics of all of the tools you will be using, such as SRS and Lot ATC, but also going over brevity and how to become proficient as the dedicated player AWACS on your server. To begin, if you have not already, download SRS. When you're on their website, click on the blue button in the center that says Download Latest Release, and on their GitHub page, scroll down and click on the button that says DCS Simple Radio Standalone.zip underneath the Assets dropdown. When you do this and it is finished downloading, find where it's located and drag it somewhere that will be easy to extract later. In this case, I'll put it onto my desktop. On the desktop, right-click the zip file and extract it. After extracting the folder, open it and run the installer in the middle of the file explorer. After running the installer, it will prompt you with this window and three steps. The first step, which is to pick the installation location, should already be filled for you. But if it is not, go to your program files and make a folder called DCS Simple Radio and put it there. Step two is to locate your saved games folder, but specifically not your DCS install folder. Step three to install or remove the program has two buttons on the bottom. We will be installing it, so press the button that says install slash update. After you've installed it, open the application SR Client Radio. It will open your DCS SRS client. At the top, open your controls. The AWAX panel that you will be using to talk to other people has options for 10 different radio frequencies. To be able to speak on these radios, you need push to talk keys bound for each individual one. Let's set radio 1 for example. Find it at the top here, press the button that says set, and then press the button you want to work as your push to talk. Repeat this for as many radios that you want to use, and find the setting for special intercom select and push to talk. I have this set to my grave key. This is how you manipulate the intercom on the panel. Open your settings page, scroll down until you are in the profiles settings area, and turn on radio switch works as push to talk. Back to your general page, set the microphone that you want to use. You can change your speakers and speaker volume and leave mic pass through out. You now need to find the connection information to the server you wish to be an AWACS on. For Hoggett's Georgia at War server, in any of their channels, typing an exclamation mark IP will get the bot to reply to you with a message giving different variations of their IPs. Copy and paste the IP for either the GA or PGA server, depending on which one you wish to connect to, and leave it in the slot for IPs. You will now need to connect to the external AWAX mode, or EAM. To do this, you will need the correct password for the server and a username, which will be a call sign that you will pick. The password is Hoggett's default password for all of its servers. You can find it by typing exclamation mark password in any channel similar to how you found the IP. Your EAM name should be the call sign you want to be known as. Through SRS, if players have their overlay turned on, the EAM name will show up as who is transmitting. Call signs should be something short, 
sweet, easy to pronounce, easy to recognize, and roughly two to three syllables. Examples include names such as Magic, Dark Star, or Wizard. Some player GCIs that frequently play on Georgia at War include names such as Sauron or Damsel. The call sign that I use is Galaxy, so I will write it here in this example. Press the button that says Connect. Press the button that says Connect External AWACS Mode. Then press the button that says Toggle AWACS Overlay. This is your radio overlay with the 10 different radios as mentioned earlier. From the top left to bottom right are radios 1, 2, 3, and so on. The different types of radios on the top and bottom, being UHF and VHF respectively, hold no significance on Georgia at War, although on other servers that may treat SRS differently, this may end up having a difference. The only exception to this are the two FM radios in the middle, which cannot be tuned to anything higher than frequency 76.0. How I like to have my radios laid out is from the left to right are 134, the player GCI net, 253, common net, 30, which is common FM, 251, which is a default frequency most aircraft spawn tuned to, and 249.5, which is the ATC frequency. Although you will mainly be using frequency 134, it is good practice to be monitoring all of these frequencies as they are some of the most commonly used and you may end up needing to use one of them at some point. You can turn each of these radios down by dragging the sliders to the left. Personally, I would mute most of these, with the exception to 253, which I leave at half volume, and obviously leaving 134 at max, since that is going to be your radio. Thank you for watching. Next episode will go over installing, configuring, and customizing Lot ATC, which is the main tool you will be using playing on live servers. Have a good day.